And since recording is in progress, I continue and I say welcome today. Welcome to today's jam. And um, so be aware that we, we record our jam to publish on the YouTube channel and you can choose how you want to appear using your microphone and camera. Then again, welcome. Who are we? We are a community of clumsy innovators, compassionate facilitators, cheeky co-creators, people who are hungry for learning and do not fear anything in our universe. We are change makers. And for today, we just ask you again and again, did you download the app? If not, now's the moment. In this community, we feel forward, we feel there is no other way to do, and we do that being kind, being nice, and being empathetic. Did you download the app? If not, this is the moment. Right, today we have Sarah and we have Rani, but we also have Mike and Kendall. Now let me explain to you who is Rani and who is Sarah Jane, and I needed to switch a screen. So Sarah Jane and I started to chat about people playing. In my case, I like people playing games. And in her case, she likes people to play puzzles. It is the same we, we find, we think, because when you play, you will go into the flow of playing. You will enter that very, very special zone. Why would you do so? To recharge, to create, to have fun, or to find solace, solace, and where you would bring your friends. So Sarah Jane brought Rani. Rani is her cheerful partner, developing puzzle kind. Yes, and she has a faster laptop than Sarah Jane. Oh boy, we know, yes. So while they are developing puzzle kind, we all become more kind. Bringing in Mike and Kendall. Today, Mike and Kendall are going to help us. So we are glad you are here, all co-developers supporting today's workshops. So participants, if you have any issues, tech issues that is, then you can go into the breakout room where Mike and Kendall are waiting for you. Spoiler, there's a lot of tech going on today. So failing forward, yes, I believe we will reach that level and there is just no other way. Sarah Jane, the session is yours. Hand it over to you. Thank you for the beautiful introduction and for all your support, Young Yan, Anu, Donna, we, you folks are really, really wonderful to um, play with and collaborate with. And uh, welcome everyone to our happy hour today. I, I want to thank my team, uh, my PuzzleKind co-founder, Mike, and uh, Ops Guru Rani, and our incredible intern, Kendall, for uh, helping manifest a new build in time for our presentation today. And I will be doing more talking than usual. Puzzle Kind is predicated on listening. And okay, so am I the one who's also, um, forgive me, admitting people or can someone else take over the admitting? Okay, sorry about that. Uh, welcome, Doug uh, from Seattle. And so, okay, so what's gonna happen today? First, we're gonna explain our wish list. Um, which in this amazing sanctuary of joy and calm, uh, we'd, like to, we'd like to have you experience how uh, jigsaw puzzling can help and heal you and people in your community. We ourselves use puzzle assembly to do a lot of problem solving. And we hope that you will learn um, some applications yourself. And today, possibly find a new puzzle pal on the planet. Um, there's a way for you to make friends with someone in the app. I'll show you that later. I will uh, hope that we can um, 
tell you the story shortly in Zoom time of how PuzzleKind came to be, and then prepare you for what we call shared flow state, which Jung Yang had uh, begun to describe. Then if you can believe this, we're gonna leave Zoom, sort of, and go to PuzzleKind platform. We're gonna assemble some puzzles there, and then we're gonna return to Zoom. So it's gonna be a split experience for platforms. Okay, so how did I, uh, a filmmaker, come to be making and assembling jigsaw puzzles with people on the planet? Um, many years ago, I moved from uh, Seattle, Washington to Cambridge, Massachusetts to teach animation at Harvard and found myself living in a small town called Seekonk with uh, no car and an injury that, allowed, that asked me to walk about four miles each day. And at some point, um, my physical therapist told me I needed to rest. Those of you who are creative professionals know that we don't like to rest and we need to be moving and our hands need to be doing things. So on my way home, I picked up a puzzle from the library and I did my first jigsaw puzzle in 2013. And I was amazed. It taught me how to take a break because as you know, sometimes you can't find the piece. If you walk away, you come back later, it magically appears. It also taught me how to start with what's easy. And so I um, simultaneously was still painting. I was working on something called This is a Life Worth Living. And I was working on this painting while my partner's mother was dying in ICU. And ICU, I don't know what it's like in other countries, but in the US, there's basically like garbage magazines that nobody wants to read. Uh, and I thought, could there be something better for people to do? Something communal, something creative? What about a jigsaw puzzle? And at that time, when I finished This is a Life Worth Living, uh, I, I thought, well, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make this into a puzzle. And that puzzle went into the world and found a place in a lot of um, settings devoted to oncology. In particular, uh, Miriam Hospital here in Providence, um, where I made small size puzzles for people to use in the confusion units while they were receiving chemotherapy. Ronnie, if you can run to the next slide. Um, and I went on to uh, create a whole suite of puzzles, which you can see this stack behind me are cardboard puzzles I made over the years. I began to tour these puzzles out in the world, starting with my own studio, would invite people to puzzle together. I began a project called Puzzle and Pie Happy Hour, where people would eat pie. Uh, Yung Yang, do you want to show them what pie is in case we have language confusion? Yeah, this is pie. Okay, that's what pie munch, is. Munch, 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 yeah. yummy, yeah. yummy, 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 yummy. And I fell in love with observing people doing group puzzle assembly. Um, something really magical happened when people came together. Um, here you see Ronnie about five or six years ago in a public market in Providence. They were offering a group puzzle session and other friends from our community who invited me to have these puzzle happy hours, including nursing students here on the right, working on their licensing exams and using puzzle as a mindfulness uh, activity. Okay, so fast forward uh, to um, a more formal understanding of what group puzzling accomplished. After uh, touring piece by piece with Pi around the country, I, I noticed that um, there was consistently a kind of shared flow state happening. And flow, for those of you who know, it's a, it's a place in our mind where anxiety, and boredom meet in a very uh, useful spot. So we're perfectly focused. We're not thinking about anything else. We're physiologically uh, entrained and it's kind of the magic spot. And I saw this uh, flow state uh, manifest when working with clinically depressed adolescents in a local hospital and began to dig even deeper. Uh, next slide, please. Um, and began working with institutions uh, who wanted to build team morale um, in New York City, in Boston, and in other places in the US. And 2020, supposed to go on tour, 
But what happened in 2020? Uh, there was no amount of sanitizer in the world after March 8th to bring people together. Okay, so what to do? Uh, Mike Ferrier said, um, what if I build an app that would allow you to continue this work? And I said, uh, no, thank you. I don't like screens. I don't like capitalism. It's me. And he said, okay. And he went ahead and did it anyway. He's a smart guy. He showed me a prototype a few months later and we brought, uh, you remember, you might know Lee Kim from Dream Design Lab into a beta universe and we began prototyping. So we brought on Ruth Chung, who's an awesome UX wizard. And by uh, March 2021, we released Puzzle Kind. Pictured here, you see our first beta test with 45 people assembling a puzzle. Okay, so here we are today, and we're gonna repeat this experiment. What happens when people from all over the planet come together and puzzle? What do they experience? Uh, now, in order for you to begin puzzling together, we want to make sure that we're all what's called uh, co-regulated, right? Which means our um, emotions and our bodies are sort of speaking calmly to one another. So we're gonna begin with an exercise. Um, and I'm gonna ask you to do a kind of intake. Pick up your piece of paper right here. And I'm gonna ask you to make a quick drawing of how you feel right now. It could be a portrait of yourself, or it could be uh, the word, however you wanna express it. Just take a minute to make that drawing. And if there's a word that describes that feeling, you're welcome to put it in the chat. Uh, this is the word on the foot for how I'm feeling. So I can't spell this device. Yeah. And if you want, you can show your drawing to the camera. No pressure. Uh, I love seeing people's drawings. Right. All sorts of interesting marks. All right, so we'll put that drawing aside. And now, um, oh, thank you, Anu, awesome. Um, I'm going to invite you to think of a desire. And when I say the word desire, I mean a wish, an intention, a goal, a dream, a vision. It can be for yourself, your family, your country, the universe, the dark matter of the galaxy, however you want to interpret it. First, I ask you to write it on your paper and then put it in the chat. When we handwrite something, we make a, a better inscription in our brain, but please also put it in the chat. So thank you for sharing these. I see health, health, safety, safety, peace, love, joy, happiness, target, maybe not the store, explore and safety, a breakthrough, freedom from fear, harmony and acceptance, happiness and health, everyone experiencing friendship, de-escalation in the world, conversation with your daughter, peace, spring and health. These are gorgeous wishes. 
And my wish is that, uh, oh, thank you, Anu, clarity and ambitious, ambition maybe. Um, my hope is that you can begin to see the connection between puzzle assembly and manifesting your dreams, because I think there is a parallel. All right, at this point, um, we're gonna move out of our chairs because I bet a lot of you've been in your chair since the crack of dawn. And we're gonna let uh, Ronnie guide us into grounding our bodies and grounding us as a group. So off we go. Hi, everyone. Um, if we, I, I wanna make sure that everyone understands that I'm not asking you to do anything out of your ability. Please check in with yourself and only do what you're able to do. If you are able, we would love it if you could stand up right now. Amazing. So just take a minute, feel your feet on the ground. <clears throat> Um, have your feet about hip distance apart. I would like you to lift up your toes for a second and feel how that activates your, your leg muscles. And then mindfully place your toes back down on the ground. We're going to start with some breath. Um, take one nice inhale. And exhale slowly to just bring yourself right into this moment. We're now going to add some movement with our arms on the inhale. As you inhale, take your arms up, reach towards the sky. If you're able, just take a little peek at your fingertips and then bend your knees a little bit. And as you exhale, go ahead and bring your fingers to the floor. Bend your knees so that you can touch the floor if you need to. As you inhale, go ahead and look up and stretch out your spine, make it nice and long. Bend your knees and bring your body up. Bring your hands into the air. Touch your palms together. We're going to rub our palms. And as you are rubbing your palms and exhaling, bring your palms right in front of your face. Let's take a breath in. And let that out with a nice big sigh. <sighs> Bring your hands to stillness. Release your hands to your sides. We're going to do an exercise where we help both sides of our brain activate. So we're going to take two fingers from each hand, put them up in front of your face. Bring those two fingers together. And we're going to move the two fingers into a figure eight. And what you're going to do is let your eyes follow your fingers. Now reverse your figure eight. Continue following your fingers with your eyes. Remember to breathe. Come to center. Release your hands, close your eyes, take a breath in, remember the desire that you wrote down a few minutes ago, take a minute to feel into that intention and that desire. Take one more breath. Slowly open your eyes, come back into this space, find a comfortable seat. I hope that you're feeling more in this moment, a little more grounded, and hopefully a little more calm. Thanks, Ronnie. That was so lovely. Um, the bilateral movement she just showed us is based in EMDR uh, co-regulation of brain spheres. Okay, now we will move into puzzle kite. And I'm going to explain how this platform jump works. Uh, 
I invite you to have your device at the ready. And I'm going to give you a code, but first I have a request. Turn, make sure your mic is off and turn off your camera right now. Puzzle kind emphasis emphasizes deep listening. So we don't need to worry about our telepresence. Uh, we're going to be focusing on one another's voice. Okay. So <laughs> Something is happening over there. Don't you think so? Something is happening with Dani. <laughs> It's so funny to to help the people to do the puzzle and listen you and then the. <laughs> I will I will shut shut my mouth now, Danny, so you can. No, concentrate. no problem. Please, please, please follow. Continue, yeah. please. Yes. Oh, I see. Yeah, we are in two universes right now, and Mike is with us as well. Yes, it's more than metaverse. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. There is the three of us talking to each other as if we are uh, looking into a fishbowl and see the fishes swim. <laughs> yes. And Dani, did you see me here playing on my screen? I'm playing with uh, Anupa. I'm playing another puzzle with her. So Anupa and I are really relaxed, very calm peaceful watching you and playing our puzzle <laughs> hello how is yes. the puzzling going oh yeah professional puzzle puzzlers <laughs> i see just need more time <laughs> maybe one hour <laughs> this we'll one's fun done. Hmm? It'll be done. Quickly. I believe in you. <laughs> so that should be accurate. This is green, this is here, I think, because it's written, something is written on it. This is also oh. green. Okay. <laughs> So I feel this will be the animal print. Okay. Will be somewhere, somewhere. Sure. This blue. Mm -hmm. no. This one is here because it's the deer. Mm. And it's the side. The green ones are on the bottom. Ah, oh, yeah, there is another corner on the um, it's the green corner, yeah. Yeah, cool. Perfect, you found the corner. Can you manage to turn the corner around on your tablet? Uh, yeah, one second. Yeah, cool. Yeah, thank you. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Puzzler 2022, <laughs> how did you do this? How did you puzzle with a stranger? What were your strategies? So, um, in, in our team, we started with the corners and then slowly, slowly, uh, in, we came to the center. Start with the corners, okay? Yeah. And then move to the centers. What yeah. else did people Yes. Have? Listen very carefully to what other people said about the pieces. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Which was and difficult. Why is Who checked my piece? <laughs> <laughs> no, really, because, you know, like if you're not listening, then, then a lot of people, I think people, if you have a whole bunch of people, there was only three of us, but if you had 10 people, everybody would be doing their own thing. And if you're not listening to the, uh -huh. the, um, little tiny words that people speaking to themselves or you know if you're not listening then then you can't work as a group you just right oh, that's a great point so figuring out how to listen deeply especially the nuance 
and coordinate. Any other thoughts? Interestingly, I think it was easier on a tablet. Okay. And so one of the um, reasons I adore jigsaw puzzles is because they offer this incredible uh, metaphor for working together and achieving our dreams. And I think this poem um, really uh, explains my appreciation. Everyone it carries with them at least one, probably many pieces to someone else's puzzle. Sometimes they know it, sometimes they don't. It's by uh, Rabbi Larry Kushner, wrote that in the 70s. And I think if my takeaway for you is that I want you to remember always how essential you are every day that you walk this earth and how essential everyone is. Okay, so I appreciate your patience with this technology. We're now gonna go back to Zoom. So I'll see you in one. Thank you, bye-bye. Thank you, Vivka, hello. Thank you, bye-bye. <laughs> Hey all, I don't want to come back. Congratulations. Um, we're going to do one last little exercise. Pick up before you eat your pie. This is my ceramic pie. Um, <gasps> I invite you to make a drawing of how you're feeling right now. And if you want, you can email us the drawings. I love seeing drawings or not, but just take a minute to create an impression. Can this go on? And again, if you want to put a descriptive word, you can show it uh, in the chat or put your drawing <laughs> in the camera as you wish. Margit looks pretty jolly in her drawing. Let's see what's going on. Wuka's looks like, yeah, at peace. Angelic. Ronnie's got happiness. Yay. Right. Doug, you had a drawing for us. I bet you do. Uh, okay. And uh, let's see. Memorable. Okay. So I think. Um, that ends our um, grounded and connected. Awesome, awesome. Sarina, did you were you going to show me a drawing? Well, nice. Yeah, is there a happy plant? Ah, uh, yeah. There's the happy cloud. Awesome. Okay. So we are so grateful for your time here, and uh, I know that Yan has things to tell us about next week, and we hope that you will stay for the. Um, talk back backstage after and let us know how you experience this day together. Thank you. Well, first of all, we do have some time uh, uh, left here in the plenary, and I can describe to you how uh, oh, I really? feel because I was playing uh, a different puzzle together with Anupa. Uh, for a functional reason, you know, for a functional reason, and that is for the recording. And um, uh, well, we both are playing. And when I see her moving the pieces, actually, that make, made me feel like, oh, yeah, yeah, now we are playing. And Dani was the witness seeing that we could not talk and play at the same time, making me think, yeah, we human beings are really not designed for multitasking. <laughs> Dani was designed for multitasking because he had two speakers on listening to two universes. Oh, the, the problem was the quality of the voices. <laughs> on, the, on the phone was not so good than the, on Zoom. <laughs> this is the problem. Mm -hmm. But I listen a lot my name. It's confused to, to listen your name in the middle of phrases. Eh? Very good. <laughs> so that's another insight. That's really another insight. And when I was seeing uh, people playing and smiling, but I couldn't be in the same spot, 
it gave me the feeling of I am left out. I am not, you know, I, I can't be with you. And what it would mean, I don't know yet. We will figure out later on, but it was a very true and present and, and, and actual feeling. So that's one little thing that I really wanted to, to, to share with you. Yes. Um, next week, next week, we are going to have the empathy tent. And together with us is Wiebke. So Wiebke, would you uh, like to spend a few words to uh, inform us what's going to happen next week? Yes, I can surely do that. Um, well, first of all, um, it's not Mark's and my invention, but obviously Mark picked it up in Oregon. And Anupa and Mark have done this in, back in August 21. So this is just a follow-up because we thought we really like to have something like that again. What can you expect in the empathy tent? You can, you can share, you can share things and find a willing listener. But the more important role is the role of the listener because there's so many different kinds to listen and we really want to sensitize you for the role of the listener and there's so many concepts and uh, we want you to become aware of what it takes to listen because it's not trivial it's actually really really important but it, it can give you a lot of strength it can enrich you and we want to introduce these concepts to you and, and not only the theory but make you just experience it and then share about what have you experienced so this is the empathy tent Tell people that, and so we have people to, to try it out and enough sharers and enough lifts and listeners. Thank you. Thank you, yes. And let me see what's next. So if you feel inspired now, having ideas that you want to share in the gem, go to this uh, bit.ly address and describe your idea. Um, you never know one day this stage is yours yes dani yours <laughs> you can find us you can find us on different social channels please do so and make fun with us together and making fun means you're seriously learning you know that huh? you're coming from my mouth you know that okay the people behind the jam here we are and um uh, we are still together on this this boat. Uh, if you would like to step on board, you know, just reach out to one of us and let's have a chat. Yes. And this year again, I have my pie here and I'd love to have a cup of coffee. In <laughs> that way, if you would donate us a cup of coffee. Sorry, my chocolate cake that I, that I got from Sarah Jane today, actually. <laughs> by buying us coffee will make it possible for us to cover our costs of MailChimp, Zoom, Miro, Miro, all these different platforms because we all are volunteers in this community. Okay, that was all that I had to say and I'm going to switch off the recording and just start backstage and chat a little bit more. If you have time, welcome. <laughs>